This holiday season, we're taking time to focus on the positive, passing the mic to people in our community who are making a difference, sometimes in unique ways. Tonight, we're profiling a University of Kansas Medical Center professor behind a popular swim program for kids with autism. As she explains, it's a labor of love meant to fill a need that could truly be life-saving. I find myself finding uh, the water really relaxing. You, you can't hear anything except for your you know, arms moving through the water, the sound of the water in your ears. Three to four times a week, you'll find Lisa Michi Lawson here, swimming 4,000 meters, or roughly two and a half miles. I swim for my own physical and mental health, and um, I, I can't think of anything that's more relaxing. She also swims competitively, although she's relatively modest about her accomplishments. I prefer to call them events, <laughs> especially as I age, but yeah, I, I enjoy open water swimming, so I've done um, a 20 kilometer swim around Key West um, with a friend supporting me in a kayak. Uh, recently did a swim in Malta from Gozo back to the island of Malta. Um, that one was a little more competitive. I actually placed in that one. But it's not her medals that have gained her admiration on area pool decks. It's a special program she and a colleague created and launched through KU in 2012, all to teach kids with autism how to swim, especially after a child here in our area drowned in a neighbor's pond. I think about those families and those kids, and, and I hope that no other child in our area drowns. According to the National Autism Association, children with autism are 160 times as likely to die from drowning as the general pediatric population. And 50% of kids with autism tend to wander away from safe places. Among those who wander, a six-year study showed accidental drownings accounted for 71% of deaths. We had those statistics in mind when we were creating this program. Kids with autism also may learn differently. Uh, they don't always communicate verbally. They often have trouble paying attention, especially when there's a lot of sensation going on in the environment. Have a fun time. So the Sensory Enhanced Aquatics program has been adapted to their needs, proving to be a big hit with participants and their families, including five-year-old Jones Wilson. Oh my gosh, yes. He looks forward to swim lessons. We come every Monday night, so he loves that. He loves his teachers. Good job, Jonesy. And his mom, Jessica, says she loves the confidence this gives him, all while giving her more peace of mind when it comes to water safety. For that, she's especially thankful for Lisa's leadership in this program. That was amazing. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm so grateful for people like her that see our family, that value our needs, that have changed, changed so many lives. It's a really big deal. Word has certainly spread throughout the metro, with some families traveling more than an hour to attend these specialized classes held at the Lenexa Rec Center, along with pools in Miriam and Fairway. Enrollment has grown from 30 kids 12 years ago to now anywhere from 60 to 90 participants each session, which runs year-round. Many of the instructors are KU Medical Center students, too, who teach as part of their curriculum for occupational therapy. So, in many ways, Lisa's helping pass along her love of the water to both the swimmers and their student instructors. Nice job. I love swimming, so I want everyone to love swimming and have an opportunity to love swimming. Uh, the students, working with the students definitely keeps me involved. Watching them light up for the first time when they figure out how to teach a kid with autism to swim, that keeps me very motivated. While we were there, those kids were having so much fun too. Because they use KU Med students, they're able to keep the cost down for that program. They also do a lot of fundraising to provide scholarships, so cost is never a barrier to families. If you're interested in enrolling, you can go through the Lenexa, Miriam, and Ferry Park districts.